The following video is sponsored by the generous people at ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is your one-stop shop for sticker sheets for Transformers of all generations, from reproduction labels for the oldest pieces in your collection, to upgrade sets for the most recent retail releases. They also make labels for G.I. Joe, figure display backgrounds, and more. ToyHacks.com Welcome back to Stick It! My name is Kit, and today we'll be taking a look at the Toy Hacks labels for Siege Astro Train. This set features 39 separately numbered stickers and costs $15. We'll start in train mode since there isn't much to talk about here, so I might as well get it out of the way before sinking my teeth into something more substantial. Astro Train's steam locomotive mode was already sufficiently painted for the most part, and was sculpted intricately enough that he neither warranted nor could support many additions through the use of stickers. At the front is a number plate that references not his original Japanese ID number, as I first assumed, that being D48, but instead the model of train the original Astro Train toy was based on, the JNR Class D51. It was really a missed opportunity back in the day, wasn't it? The wheel housing goes largely untouched except at the rear, where Toy Hacks takes an opportunity to cover up an otherwise large and conspicuous pin with some mechanical detail. I really enjoy this kind of work, although on smaller pins applying stickers can be more than a little bothersome, as metal isn't as conducive for adhesion as plastic is. Up top are some stripes reminiscent of those found on the original Astro Train toy. Finally, at the cab, the windows are picked out in silver to imply that someone could actually be inside this thing. Before we move on to the next mode, though, Astro Train's coal car gets a couple Decepticon roundels, really tying things together. Shuttle mode is considerably flatter in texture, opening things up for more obvious stickers. As such, I'd say this mode is more worthwhile than the previous, getting a lot more major additions that really liven things up. Most notably, Astro Train's flanks are completely fleshed out with details you'd expect to find on a spacecraft like himself. A door at the base of each wing, a large call sign printed just behind that, and even a porthole further back. There's even an option to have Devastator peeking his stupid face out in reference to that iconic scene from the Transformers the movie. Though I suppose every frame of that film has been treated as holy gospel for so long that every scene will be considered iconic by someone. The tail fin gets some much needed black to break up its sea of grey, and the purple outline framing Astro Train's wings is completed by some stickers on the flaps. Compared to train mode, this shuttle benefited much more from the addition of these stickers, I feel. We come back to basics with Astro Train's robot mode, since there's not much here we haven't seen in either of his other modes, as is the case with most sets. I suppose this gives me a chance to go over some things I neglected to mention in the other sections. Keep in mind, however, that this is a general review and not an exhaustive list of every single sticker and their placement. That would be pretty boring, wouldn't it? Back on topic, the most glaring addition to this mode is the now iconic Astro Train Bowtie License trademark, because even the most cartoon accurate figure can't escape its illustrious charm and sex appeal. Toying is better than tuning, anyway. His arms are given a great deal of yellow, probably to help his blonde mohawk fit in better, 
or probably to compensate for the removal of the only other splash of yellow paint on this figure's calf-mounted kibble flaps. All this doesn't seem like much, but this set also gives Astrotrain's accessories a bit of love as well, more so than most other sets. His minigun is given a semi-chromed barrel tip, while his multi-missile launcher is covered in purple and each individual missile is tipped in red. That's it for his guns, but the sprawling launch pad now sports some diamond plating on the ramps and warning stripes near the pad itself. Those flaps turned boots even have red details at the toes. How stylish. I'll admit, this set does look a little sparse when we look at each mode in a vacuum and at such a fast pace, but these stickers are more substantial than this format lets on. The crux of it is that they're spread out over three modes, so each mode doesn't get a whole lot to call its own. A lot of it is also concentrated inside the coal car, and I don't know how liable most collectors would be to use it very often. I know I sure don't. That said, I do think Astrotrain's look has improved in all three modes, and that this set makes for a nice little package. Your mileage may vary, of course, but if you're already in the market for upgrade sticker sheets, I don't think you could go very wrong with this one. If you liked this video or otherwise found it helpful or informative, then please subscribe for more reviews like this in the future, and feel free to suggest topics for future reviews in the comments. When we return, we'll be taking a look at a set that I actually really freaking enjoy, so stick around for the next Stick It. This has been Kick Catastrophe, Transform, and Roll Out.